In this video, we'll review the process to connect to an organization, specifically an alternative payment model or APM entity. This video is applicable to representatives of entities participating in models such as Comprehensive Primary Care Plus and Primary Care First. There is a two-step process you need to complete in order to sign into the QPP website to submit, view, and manage data for your organization. The first step is to create a HARP account. If you don't have a HARP account, you can do so from the sign-in page. Click sign in in the upper right-hand corner, then click register. From here, you can click register with HARP, which will redirect you to the HARP website to create an account. Once you've completed the process to create a HARP account, you will return to the QPP website and sign in with your username and password. Enter your username and password. You must check that you agree to the statement of truth before you can click sign in. At this point, you'll receive a code on the device you selected for multi-factor authorization during the HARP account creation process. Enter your code to complete the sign-in process. Click Manage Access on the left-hand navigation pane. If this is your first time requesting access to an organization, you'll see a message that you're not connected to any organization and a large button inviting you to connect to an, organi to an organization. If you're like me and already have access to an organization, you'll see those organizations listed on the page and a link to connect to an another organization. The process is the same whether you're connecting to an organization for the first time or connecting to a new organization. Once you click the link, you'll be prompted to choose the organ your organization type. Select APM entity and click continue. Choose your model from the drop down list. The information required. The information required to find your organization will vary by model. Enter the required information and click continue. Next, you'll be asked to select a role, either security official or staff user. Both roles let you submit and view data for your organization, but only security officials can approve requests from other users to connect to the entity. If you're the first person to request access to your organization, you must select security official and will be required to provide additional information. You'll see an approval notification pop up after the information you've submitted is validated by the system. If the information you entered can't be validated, your request will be rejected. If this happens, verify and re-enter the required information. If you continue to have problems, contact the QPP service center. If the if the organization already has a security official, you will select the appropriate role and click Submit. Once, once your request has been submitted, the existing security official is responsible for reviewing and approving your request. Your request will remain in a pending state until it's approved. If your role request remains in pending state, contact the Q50 Service Center for assistance.